All right, we are playing Joey Moss from Bad Boy Gaming. He's been streaming for several hours now. It's 1 a.m. right now, and uh, he agreed to play a game with me. So this should be fun. This is a first for me. This is Liam at Magic Stew, by the way. <laughs> Appreciate you watching the video. Oh, hey, I drew a land. I don't know what's going on with the graphic on this particular swamp, but just... Uh, Hasn't wanted to show all day. He's playing the same deck that he was playing earlier. It's green and red stompy dino thing. Yep, that's what he's playing. Cool. I dropped out of uh, watching his uh, video, his uh, live chat of it, because I would be cheating. So. Let's fatal push dude here. Swing in, this will do two points of damage, and I'll gain a life because this card is freaking awesome. And pop out a vicious conquistador. He'll probably be playing a little slow because he is chatting with his um, with his viewers and fans and whatnot while playing, which is cool because I too was one of those people for the last few hours. Have a little fun while I'm doing my uh, editing work and whatnot. Don't have many other options. So putting down a land. There we go. All right, so one more swamp with no picture. <laughs> Let's do this. Push dude. Yeah, I'm not, we're going to drop part of Kieran, but I'm actually going to trying to get in the habit of doing stuff like that in my second main phase. It's been a terrible habit of mine for a while to do it in the first main. So even though it's kind of pointless right at this moment since everybody's, well, since he's tapped out, um, you know, I want to get into a, get into the habit. And there's our heart of Kieran. <clears throat> He's going to have some pretty big stompy dudes shortly here. I'm glad I've got Walker Plank. Although he, I think he does have Carnage Tyrant in there. Commune, let's see what comes up. And there's that Carnage Tyrant. Fortunately, it'll be a little while before he can cast it. Okay. Well, it'll be a little bit less time <laughs> before he can cast it. <laughs> He's got a Ripjaw Raptor, which he'll be putting out next turn. So I need a creature. No matter what, I need a creature this turn. Or I will be... Well, I need a creature by the turn after this turn. Um, 
or I'll be there we go all right drop him down to 10 The deck that I'm playing is a mono black aggro deck. Uh, don't recall who did it. I know that uh, I think it was Channel Fireball did a little article about it. I've been playing it a lot lately, and it's been doing really well. Um, the deck list is up on Channel Fireball somewhere. There comes a biggie. It should be that Ripjaw Raptor. Yep, there we are. So we know he's got a Carnage Tyrant in hand. We just got our Amit. Mm. Alright, so I might just... Tap these. This one will do a damage just for being tapped. Crew this. Hit him for one, swing in for four, and probably just do the same thing next turn. Unless he's got an answer to these. I'm going to go ahead and put out this Amit. Should only drop down to a four for, I would expect. Orange Tyrant, okay, that's what I thought. But the most he can do is five da or sorry, four damage to me if I even let it through. So he's tapped out, he's got no answers for uh, the Night Market Lookout or the Heart of Karen. That would be the game. All right, so we've got dinos. Uh, we could harsh scrutiny to get rid of those carnage tyrants and take out. We'll take out the Aethersphere Harvester and one of the Fatal Push. Um, I'm also going to take out one of the vicious conquistadors and put in a gifted Aetherborn. Let's do it. And Joey goes first. I got to shout out Joey again because this guy helped us out a lot. We sent a box of cool stuff to. Um, gonna model this this is I mean I like having two well, I like having the conquistadors and the scrap heap scrounger right off the bat but I'm you know what I'm gonna keep it I'm a little worried that we're gonna keep drawing lands but I am gonna keep it we'll see what happens anyway as I was saying Joey helped us out a lot um, we got a ton of subscriptions just from him sending people our way tremendously appreciative 
very much appreciative. Um, stand up dude, and I love his channel. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, a lot more good things to come from both of our channels. And uh, you know, hats off, my friend. Not real thrilled about this starting hand, but you know what? It's it's a powerhouse if he has no answers for the first few turns. So I'm just going to run it and hope that I can draw more cool stuff. Draw those amets or the bone pickers or, or something. Some removal. I know... Uh, I realize cross your fingers isn't the best isn't the best strategy in magic, but hey, sometimes it works. We got an Amid Eternal. Let's put out one of these vicious conquistadors. <clears throat> this is a gorgeous mm -hmm. card, Rootbound Crag. Love the artwork on this version of it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can definitely attack into that. So I maybe should have put out that Heart of Kieran first, but that's okay. That's my little punt. I don't think it's a huge punt. Mini punts. When I have cool Twitch stuff, we'll be like, we'll have a chart for punts and a chart for the mini punts. Maybe a, an El Grande punts as well. Yes. The Nachos Bel Grande punts. Only the punts of the greatest magnitude will go in there. Alright, he put Galta in his hand. Very nice. Very nice. I would very much like a walk the plank soon, thank you. Well, Galta's not going to do a whole lot against Heart of Kirin, but uh, Galta will do a whole heck of a lot if it can run right over everything else and just kill me. So he doesn't have any two drop dinosaurs, otherwise he would have put it down there and attacked with his drove of the mighty. Pop out land. Come out swinging.
Oh, do I do the Heart of Karen or do I do the Ammon? I think I'm going to do the Heart of Karen. That way it's ready next turn should he put out something massive like a uh, Rip Jar or something like that. We'll put this dude out too, in case he doesn't. Here it is. What you got? It's got to be a Ripjaw Raptor. This is a good deck that he's playing too. Not quite the way that I would have built it. Uh, I actually have a, a version, a version of it that uh, is slightly different. Oh, Charging Monster Sword. Okay. Yeah, see mine doesn't have that. And I believe that means next turn, let's see, he's got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, next turn he can cast Galta. Is he going to swing? I think it would be smart, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, see, not aggressive enough, man. If I had one more land, I'd be screwing up your Galta plans here. So he's going to hit me, he's going to hit me pretty hard in a minute. All I can really do, I'll crew this, if I attack with both of those, at least three points of damage goes through, so that's seven total, which puts him at six. Which means I should be able to, yeah, I should be able to beat him next turn unless he has something. So this is basically going to be a suicide run for somebody here. If one of my conquistadors is not going to survive. That's okay. They've done their damage. So what I love about this deck, we push, 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 and sometimes it might look like fallacy when we attack with just literally everything, or even with certain things it might look, you know, kind of crazy to do so, but if you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, it's almost impossible. You, you put them on, you put your opponent on the defense, you can kind of freak them out in a sense, you know, they, they don't want to lose the game, obviously, so they're nervous about that. Uh, could make them tilt, could make them punt, um, or could just make them play very defensively, which is a bad idea against this deck. In this case, not attacking with his Monstrosaur was, in my opinion, not the best move. Probably a result of... Uh, of the way that this deck just constantly pounded the last round. It's kind of like in poker, you just keep betting in and betting in and betting in, and they're like, oh my god, what do, what do they have? You know, They lose to you a couple times, they don't want to play against you anymore. So now we put out this Amid Eternal. 
meaning basically you make somebody play so defensively that they lose. So he's going to be able to put out Galta, but he's only going to be able to swing at me with, well, his charging Monstrosaur. Because my Amity Eternal, even with four power and toughness, would eat the Drover. This is a sweet deck. This is a really nice deck. Really happy to have stumbled across it. I think it was on Twitter or something like that. Somebody's, uh, somebody asked a question about some, if anybody else was playing it or something. And I happened to click on the link. I had no idea what this deck was. And I was like, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a shot. You know, and man, I've, I have lost very few games with this. I'm about to do a league with it. Hopefully that goes as well. I tend to enter into the leagues thinking that I'll do as well as I do for points and then only win like two games, which doesn't get you anywhere. And there's the Galta. Okay. So the most he can do is five damage. I mean, if he's hoping that I'm not going to attack in, then, well, that's, that's not what's going to happen. So next turn, we're going to put out the Amity Eternal. Use that to crew Heart of Kirin and attack with... Heart of Kirin and the other four creatures. And that should be game. Or we can just do it with a Scrap Heap Scrounger, because why not? Kind of fitting, you know, it's a, a little bit of a callback to uh, Mardu vehicles by doing it this way. A little homage, so to speak. Surprised he didn't concede right there. And just the flyer and the afflict alone, I mean, those two by themselves could do it. He's tapped out except for one. No, actually, that, does, that guy doesn't give mana. As soon as the other one for a second. So, yeah, that's game. I feel kind of bad. I went onto his chat and then I like won so like utterly with this with this deck after asking him to play. But and that's the game, man. That's how you. That's how we do it. So there's your afflict, and then you're taking four from Heart of Karen. Let's go back to let's go back to chat thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm gonna go apologize to Joey for kicking his butt so badly <laughs> thanks for watching